All right, listen to this. I went to Timu recently and I ordered some products for my fantastic beasts. This is Godzilla. He is a rare Northland New Zealand green gecko. All right, and this is Eki taking a chunk out of my finger, but it was worth it for the shot. This is a dish I got Eki from Timu, and this video is about all the Timu products I got for my animals. So let's set the scene. I live in New Zealand. New Zealand is a beautiful country, but it's located at the bottom of the world. So what does that mean? Well, it means the supply chain is super expensive. It costs a lot of money to get goods down here. Everything costs a lot. Money, money, money. Let's spend those dollars. So I thought I would team up with Timu. Oh yeah, boy. So what is Timu? Timu is a marketplace like Alibaba or AliExpress, but on steroids. It's amazing, the diversity of products, it's easy to use, the shipping, it ships to countries like New Zealand where I am, as well as Australia, Singapore, Hong Kong. It's awesome. Basically, you can find anything and everything on Timu. I mean, look at this costume. This is a shark costume for a bearded dragon. That is ridiculous. That is so silly, also, but hilarious at the same time. I love Timu because A, it's a fraction of the price, and we're in a cost of living crisis, so we have to think about these things. So if you live in a country like Singapore, Australia or Hong Kong where pet products are super expensive, definitely worthwhile checking out Timu, that's why I do it. Now they do have phone apps as well, super user friendly, always have coupons, bundles, really interactive, really fun. And if you use my coupon bundle on the screen or link below, you'll get a $100 coupon bundle on me, Max Gals. Now let's get to the unboxing. All right, so I got this little egg broken eggshell hide which is perfect for leopard geckos this next one is also another hide for leopard geckos now everything's super cheap and that's why i like it now that's something i could probably buy and use for leopard geckos crested geckos any journal species or even a burrow species this is a little like feeder that sits on the side of glass i'll delve into these further in the video where you'll see these actually in use with my animals my fantastic beasts my rare geckos some of my animals that you may not ever see this is a little fish feed i got i got a bit of a blend of everything i wanted to try different products see what the diversity and what the quality of the products was the seedling heat mat perfect for my mealworm culture or cricket culture or locust culture so if you're breeding insects this is a great option so the next thing I got was this plastic terrarium. Now this plastic terrarium will be a future project in the future, so stay tuned for that one. I also got this LED light. Now like I said, I'll repeat, Timu is the best thing for bargains, for reptile products, for anything you want for a fraction of the price. I think that's why I love it. So I just keep getting with it. This was a little dish combo I got for my boreal New Zealand geckos, but whether they suit for crested geckos, you know, water and insects are one, or maybe water and both, it doesn't matter. Now, the next thing here is I got some dishes. These dishes are a little combo set. These guys were a bargain as well. Great for my leopard geckos, for mealworms or for water. I also got this like spray system. Now, this spray system is gonna be epic. It's gonna be epic for my tree frogs. This was super cheap, it was super easy to use. So I didn't set this up this time around, but I definitely will in the future videos, so stay tuned. But I wanted to see how to use it because I wanted to see if Timu products were legit, if they're authentic, and if they're easy to use, and if they actually worked when they arrived. So look at this, it's got a digital screen. Let's crack into it, all the bits and bobs. It looked legit, it had everything it needed. So I thought, okay, well, let's get the sleeve off first. It says, take off the plastic form first. I was like, okay, that's fine, I can do that, that's simple enough. Now, once I got everything together, I just got a jug of water just to test it out. Now that actual suction had like, clay balls in it and i'm guessing they might be like some bio balls it even came with this cool little clip connected to the tubing and honestly it was a straightforward i was just like okay firstly i did it wrong that's me i'm not gonna lie my bad but once i got it done correctly it was actually really fun so look at this and in the end it works and for the price i was like man you can do it on different timer settings and it was so simple i mean why not why would i pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars when i can get this All right, so let's go into the detail of all the products. This is the first thing I'm gonna go through. This was like a arboreal dish that sits high up in your glass tank. So whether you have arboreal species, it's crested geckos or my native geckos, and this is some food I'm gonna try with. Now these bugs look different, don't they? They don't look like your usual bugs. These are New Zealand native, or shall I say New Zealand bugs from the wild. Free range, shall I say. This is the other dishes that I got. This is one for fruit paste and one for water. Now New Zealand geckos are insectivores but they also enjoy nectar and fruit so hence this is exactly what i use these dishes for now you can also use these for crested geckos and other arboreal species of gecko in the world but because i have new zealand rare geckos i thought why not now firstly he was curious as you saw he was extremely curious he was like what is going on here huh? 
This is a little EFT terrarium for Japanese fire belly newts. This is Nelly. This is a little creek that I built for them. Now I had this LED light, but I hated it. So I thought, okay, well I need a new light. And the light on Timu was perfect. Now this little thing was literally $6.48 and I had to buy it. Link and buy it once again, check it out below. Now, plugs into a USB, perfect. So I can charge my iPhone, my iPad, and also have this bad boy powered. Now look at this, this was like a disco on the end. This was Rager. Now this is Nelly. Nelly is about two years old. Japanese fire blade new, it's still in its terrestrial phase. After some time, they go back to the aquatic phase when they're adults, but look at this thing. I created a disco. I mean, my partner thought it was a disco, but it was just an LED light. So the next thing I got was these leopard gecko dishes. Well, I'll call them dishes, but it was basically two for $12.59 New Zealand. That is super cheap. Now this is Sprinkles. Sprinkles is going through a shed. Sprinkles is a leopard gecko. Look at that shed, look at Sprinkles. Well, that's why they're the most popular pet reptile or pet lizard in the world. This is Eki. Eki is also leopard gecko. Eki loves her grubs, all sprinkled in a new dish. So the dish was working a treat, as you can see. This next one's a little bit different. It's not so much for reptiles or amphibians or fish. This is for my mealworms, so some of my feeding colonies. Now I got a cheap seedling heat mat because it was cheaper than heat mats here. Reptile heat mats are super expensive, especially from the commercial products. And even seedling mats at the old DIY hardware store in New Zealand are about 50 bucks. This was a bargain. This is for mealworms. Mealworms are little bugs that I feed to my reptiles, my bigger frogs my geckos, my Cunningham skinks. This is a house that I got as well. Now I thought, super simple. I know you can use anything, but I thought, why not try this? If I'm doing this, this is a morph leopard gecko. He is absolutely stunning. But for $2.48, what a bargain. Let's see if he enjoys it. This is that plastic terrarium that we talked about earlier in the video. Now this thing I wanted to try out because it was like a kit set assembly, you just put it together and it sticks together. Now there's plans for this but for $12.48 it was a good size, it has all the ventilation I thought I've got big plans for this and why not. The assembly was really really easy as you can see, right? It just goes together, no other tools required. It was a little bit shaky so I just added some super glue to kind of keep it firm but otherwise there's lots of potential for this. Alright, so if you didn't know, my name is Max. I love ectotherms and I've been obsessed with ectotherms since I was a kid. And like I said, I got big plants in this plastic terrarium. But I'm also about fish. I've loved fish since I was a kid. And I think tropical fish, marine saltwater fish aquariums are epic. Now for $1.55 I picked up this little feeder. Now this feeder is ideally for communal fish, but I thought, why not for my little niche fish? I've got a pea puffer, I've got two bumblebee gobies, I've got two coolie loaches. See what they think of it. Now what you do is basically you put the suction cup on the inside and you're gonna use blood worms or white worms, ideally something live. I mean, blood worms is just fine, but I put white worms in. And now let's see what happens next. Let's see if the fish take to it. So old Puff was curious, he didn't know what to do with himself, but the idea was there. Once the white worms actually started filtering through, he was getting at them and they're also coming through to the bottom where the Kululoch and the Bumblebee Gobies could also get to them as you can see. Like I said, I love fish, I think it's super cool and I've got some pretty cool niche fish. Now I'm Max, like I said, I love ectotherms, I love nature, I love animals. I've been obsessed with geckos since I was a kid and at 35, the ripe age of 35, I just haven't grown out of the hobby.
So just to recap, I'm Max. I live in New Zealand, the bottom of the world. The supply chain is expensive, products are expensive. Timu made sense. Now Timu is not for everyone, but if you like the products that I've showcased in this, check out the link below. All the descriptions for all the products are in my description. Like I said, I love Timu. I love how cheap it is. The products still work. They're amazing for my fantastic beasts. Otherwise, stay tuned for the next one. I hope you enjoyed this one.